Hi guys, this is a series of Zoom for teachers. On the last video, I have given you a promo code so you can have a 50% off to upgrade your account from basic to licensed account. Today we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you a basic setting for a teacher while when you are going to use Zoom in your classroom. So you go to your personal and and you go to setting and then you go to setting meeting. This is the meeting. And there's several things that we have to uh, activate in here. First of all, I really like poll. So you go uh, control F. Wait, where is where there is no control F? Control F. You go poll. And as you can see in here, as a default, this is uh, inactive. Uh, when you uh, enable this, then you are able to use polling in your meeting. This is a background setting, so meaning you cannot uh, you cannot uh, change this when you are in the application client applications. So you have to enable it using this uh, background uh, setting. This polling is very useful for us when you want to do like formative assessment or just checking the understanding. So you can. Uh, set the polling uh, prior to the meeting or you can also set the polling during the meeting itself but that is possible only when you enable this button next up i really like a uh, breakout session so in just type in your because this is very long list yeah so i suggest you to just use control fi uh, fine or control f or you go with if you use Mac, then you can use Command F. The breakout session is very useful if you want to assign them to work in a small group. Um, but as usual, the default uh, default uh, setting in here is enable. So you have to uh, disable. So you have to enable this. Next is the muting keep on entry. Let's see mute. So where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Mute you porn. No. Uh, mute. I just find mute. Mm. Mute participant you upon entry. So this one is very important. For example, if your students come late to your class and then you want just to make sure that everyone uh, that is joining is is muted the, the the their microphone is muted so you can enable this by default this is disabled so you can enable this uh, another thing that you want to also set in here is annotation annotations is when you share the screen uh, you're basically able to annotate in there but then very very um, risky and dangerous if you also let them to be able to annotate uh, if you can control it it's fine but sometimes they just you know go crazy with that so i prefer to only user that share screen is able to do annotation you can change this also later on so i've ever experienced when i am doing presentation the student just annotate everything in there <laughs> and it's, it's nasty so yeah just uh, try to enable this only the user who is uh, sharing can annotate so save it so yeah that's now become um share screen also um i by default host is only the one that able to share screen but at the meeting i can change this also that they the other student can also share screen because i don't want them to like accidentally uh you know share the screen and everything so i can let them to share screen if i want to so it's very important to click host only not all participants yeah so host only so you go yeah that's about it uh hopefully oh wait the recording recording in here is very important also if you want to like have a very you know a uh, general description about how the student um uh involved in your class so make sure that you click save a chat message from the meeting or webinar. So later on, when uh, make sure also you record the meeting. When when the recording is done, so you will have three files in there. The first one is the video, the 
with the audio lah ya. And then the second one is audio only. The third one is the the chat history in the chat room during the meeting. So that's where after you click save chat messages from the meeting or webinar. I think that's all from me. Thank you very much. Hopefully you will have um, a very great Zoom classes. See you guys in the next video. Bye.